at all that skin. You know how I always tell you that I love to eat salty instead of sweet things? Now I know exactly why. It's in my DNA. I just received the testing kit from 23andMe in the mail. First you have to register your kit online, then spit, and then discover you gotta wait for your DNA results. The first uh, instruction though is that no food or drink for 30 minutes. Okay, I think I need to wait about 15 minutes until I do this. All right, here it goes. Close this lid. Grab this lid, screw this on tight. Put it into this little bag that they provide you. Peel this back, seal your bag, and you just ship it back to the lab, and you'll get your results, your DNA test results, pretty soon online. I just received an email from 23andMe saying that my DNA reports are ready. And before I share them with you, I wanna just make it clear that this video is sponsored and paid for by 23andMe, and they're making this possible but it's a real honor to be invited to take part in this. Probably the, the top question that I always get asked, both online and even in person, is where are you from? And I'm sure you can relate to this too. I think it's one of the, the things we always wanna know about another person. And up until this point, I was born in the United States. Uh, my mother is Chinese. Her parents, her, her, my grandfather came from China to the US. Uh, and then my father is Caucasian. And I've just sort of thought that he has always come from the Germany, Austria region, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure. And that's all that I've known so far. So as soon as we open my DNA report, I'm gonna be able to share with you exactly where I'm from. And on that note, I think I need a quick sip of tea. Recently, I've been really getting into matcha. Okay, let's check out my report. Whoa, okay. The first figure that I see, remember how I told you that I'm half Chinese or how I've told everybody so far in my life that I'm half Chinese? The first number that I see here is that I'm 44.4% Chinese. So I really am almost half Chinese, but then there's a full breakdown if you click on your, your full ancestry composition. And, oh wow, well, I was like almost, I kind of was half, exactly half, I kind of am exactly half Chinese and half European, French, German. Oh, but there's a little bit of Southeast Asian, British and Irish, Scandinavian, and Eastern European. Wow. It says that most likely you had a second great-grandparent, third great-grandparent, fourth great-grandparent, or fifth great-grandparent who is 100% French or German, so it says East Asian and Native American, I'm 51.3%, exactly. And then European is 48.7%. Wow, so I really am like exactly half Asian, well, almost exactly half Asian and half European. Uh, but then what's also cool is that there is, there's a few food related tests. Caffeine consumption, likely to consume more. I do love my coffee and my tea so much. When somebody asks me what I don't like to eat, I usually don't like sweets. I'm not a big fan of sweets, but I do love salty food and salty snacks. And so this says it exactly right here. It says that I'm likely to prefer salty or savory snacks 71% of the time. I taste exactly. I've only been scrolling through the information for a few minutes now, but already I'm, I'm getting so into the information because it's so interesting to learn more about yourself. And 23andMe is offering a special promotion right now. I'll leave the link in my description box so you can click on the link to check out all the details. You have a chance to win a trip to a place of your choice from your ancestry. Link is in the description box, so check that out. And as for me, I'm also traveling too, traveling for some food, so I need to decide where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head back to my ancestry report. I'm gonna break it down by specific destination, then choose a certain place that's in my ancestry, and then I'm gonna travel to that destination to eat. Micah. Franz Joseph Strauss Airport, 
good at local time is 8.45 and the temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. Bye bye, thank you. Bye. Okay, welcome to Germany. This is my first time and I am excited to be here. Micah, we made it to Munich. Your first time in Germany. And both Micah and I have some, some German ancestry. The weather here is fantastic. From the airport, we checked into the place that we're staying, which is an apartment that we rented, and now we are out walking around. But I am just, I'm already loving it. I love how peaceful and calm and organized it is here in Germany. And it's so, it's so like quiet. Even the, road, even the roads and the, the streets and the traffic is quiet. We're walking towards the center of Munich, an area called Marienplatz. And that's kind of a, a public square. And I cannot wait to have my first German meal. It's really, really nice in Munich and it's all pedestrian friendly. It's all lots and lots of people here today. There are cafes and restaurants and shops and we're on our way to go eat the first meal. Hi, my name is Shoso Takaya. Uh, just ran, ran into Mark Queens uh, and uh, I hope he has a great time in Munich. We're walking down a side street a little bit away from the hustle and bustle. It is just action packed in the square today. And we're walking over to a restaurant to eat at that many of you recommended. They are famous for a very well known Bavarian dish. And oh, I can't, my mouth is watering thinking about it. And this place is known for their roasted pork knuckle. And actually, we haven't, I haven't even gone inside, but you can just see them roasting, slow roasting, slow revolving over the, there's charcoal going. You can see the hot coals and you can just see that skin and those juices from that pork knuckle just slowly bubbling and juicing. And I got this like, this like almost a, a sauna sensation aroma of pork, of pork steam just coming from this window as I walk past here. Three adults in one day. Yes, come in. Thank you. Look right here. You can perfect. Pull yeah, perfect. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. oh he's just brought out the platter of the small, knuckles. the biggest. You can come back here to watch them where they are roasting the pork knuckles. This is where your pork dreams will come alive. The amount of pork knuckles that they have slow roasting there is impressive. At first you only see the, the one from outside and that, that even, even that looks like a lot but then you come inside you look in the kitchen and you can see just stacks of pork knuckles and you can see that crackling crispy ultra crunchy skin. Thank you. When you see those knuckles up there there's, there's absolutely no way you're not going to order an entire knuckle. That is just golden, crispy, absolute beautiful. And you can see the bubbling of the skin. It's like, it's just bubbled up and, and it looks ridiculously crunchy. And then you can just see that like kind of fatty, oozy meat underneath there. Look at the size of that bone. I have to begin with the bone section. Oh, 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 look at how much meat is on there. Oh, I'm just gonna pick this up like a drumstick. Okay, it is cut into giant pieces but that is still a giant bone. I'm gonna reach in for this. Oh, that's an entire piece. Oh, come close up, look at that. That is where the skin meets meat and all of that, all of that, oh yeah, that's fatty. Okay, I'm gonna start with this piece right here. Oh wow, that is awesomely good. That skin is just ridiculously crispy. And then the, the meat is tender, it's moist, and you have that creamy fatty layer as well. The trio of those different textures 
is sensational. It's salty, you can taste that slow roasted flavor in it, just embedded into both the skin and the, the meat. Oh, look at all that skin. Amazing. Amazing, thank you. Well, that was a fatty bite. That skin is just ridiculous. Bubbly pig skin. Another dish I ordered is a plate of sausages. There's six sausages over a pile of sauerkraut. And this is just a, this is, this is the vegetable dish of the meal. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yes. These are, I think these are the white sausages. I'm gonna get, get some of the, some of the sausage. Dig out some of that sauerkraut. Oh, wonderful. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's been a very, very long time since I've had sauerkraut. I have had it before, um, and sometimes at my grandma's house, but that is some amazing sauerkraut. It is really nice and juicy, and you can taste some, some herbs in there as well. And then the sausage has a nice light herbal flavor as well. The only thing that could make it better, actually, hold on. I almost, I almost forgot. We got a huge jar of mustard over here. And I do love mustard. All right. Okay, back to that bite. Mustard. Sauerkraut. Mm. It must be the German in me that loves mustard but I've loved mustard ever since I've been a kid. And these are some kind of potato, potato balls? I'm not, I'm not really totally sure. I will. I'll break one open so we can all see what's inside. Whoa, that's kind of that's like rubbery. It kind of bounces back. You stick your spoon in it, it kind of bounces back. And, oh, I feel kind of sticky. And then they're submerged in a gravy sauce. Oh, you almost need a knife to break them apart. In my mouth, I can taste potato, but then in my mind, I'm almost kind of thinking noodle because it has kind of a, a sticky, almost like, a, like a, a ball of noodles. Like if you, took a, if you took noodles and made them into a ball, that's sort of the texture that it is. But this is a very typical German Bavarian dish, side dish, um, potato dumplings, and then that's kind of a salty, Mostly like a salty gravy sauce that's, that's, um, that it's submerged in. The mustard just takes it to the next level. I think it will be fantastic on the pork as well. Mm. Yeah, we have reached the end of this meal. I just saved one more final bite to share with you. But, wow, that was a, that was a lot of meat. Managed to, to clean the entire bone. And uh, there were three of us eating me my wife and my wife's sister, but they did not give me that much help. That was a lot of meat. Okay, my final bite. My final bite I saved to share with you is this, this um, like crinkly piece of skin. Look at that. And actually, I'm just gonna go straight on with some mustard. Come on. Boom. Okay, <laughs> there's my final bite. That's so crispy. You have to be careful that it doesn't cut your gums. I would be lying to you if I didn't say I felt a little bit sluggish right now, partly due to the, the jet lag and just arriving this morning and not sleeping last night, and partly due to that massive pork knuckle. But wow, that was delicious. Uh, I'm, to the, I, I, I'm to that point where if I sat down for more than two minutes, I would just fall into a deep sleep. But we're gonna keep on walking around to keep myself awake and Oh, that was my, my first meal ever in Germany. One of the things I'm also just loving so far since being in Munich is the, the color of the blue sky and the clouds. I'm not sure if we're here just on a, on a lucky day today, but the, the contrast of the really deep blue sky uh, with the, the really white clouds and the puffy clouds and the, 
the architecture. It's, it's beautiful to see. We walked around for about an hour and we just walked over to this beer garden and there was no way I could come to Germany without, on my first day, coming to a famous German beer garden. And, wow, this place is huge. It's really nice under trees. There are just lots and lots of tables. People are hanging out, having fun. Really a social, friendly atmosphere. And you gotta find a place to sit down now. This is just a gigantic area. There are so many seats here. And there's one section, I think, on the other side where we came in is where it's more of a sit-down restaurant where you can be waited on. But then over on this side of the park, it's a self-service, kind of like a, oh, they have all sorts of things. All sorts of food, and of course, lots and lots of beer. But this is the self-service walkthrough, almost like cafeteria style. You walk through, you get what you want, and then you just find a, a picnic table somewhere under the trees. It's beautiful though, the weather is perfect, it's shady. This is, this is a perfect way to spend the afternoon in Munich. Can you grab it? Uh -huh. 1450. They do not take beer lightly in Germany. Look at the size of this beer. Oh, you could lift weights with this. It's so heavy. And I got one gigantic supersized beer and one gigantic to supersized pretzel. Look at the look at the combination of this. Okay, I gotta take a sip of this beer immediately. That is incredibly refreshing. Oh. Okay, tear into this. Oh, and it kind of like collapses. You can feel how crusty it is, but how, how soft and fluffy it is on the inside. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. So nice and salty, and then it's really like crusty around the edges and slightly gooey on the inside. Oh, it's wonderful. Wow. I love the outdoors. I love eating outdoors. I love sitting outdoors. This is just a perfect environment. And some of the areas over there are really, really loud and, and people are, are cheering and cheersing. This area over here is more kind of calm and quiet and relaxing. I've never felt so German in my entire life. I've never been so German. Never been to Germany in my life. This is my first time to Germany. This is awesome. It's been a really, really long day. I'm starting to, to get into that kind of blurry stage that I didn't sleep last night and then been out walking around and eating all day. Or maybe that's from that pork knuckle that's making me a little blurry. But anyway, it's been a fantastic day. Uh, first day in Germany. My first. This is my first ever trip to Germany. And I always knew that my, my dad had roots in Germany or somewhere around this region of Europe. Uh, but then being able to take the DNA test and knowing for certain that I had ancestry in Germany, this region, and then being able to travel here, it's really been special. And I, I've just been thinking about that I have ancestry and relatives and a history here in Germany. And that, yeah, that's really cool. That gives you a, a different kind of perspective when you travel. So I wanna say a big thank you to 23andMe for this entire opportunity. And I'm excited to eat more in the upcoming days here in Munich. Also remember to check out the link in the description box. You can enter for free to win a trip to a destination of your ancestry, all expenses paid. And I wanna say again, a big thank you to 23andMe for this awesome opportunity. And thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Munich and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.